Light. Pothos thrive well in bright and direct light. They can withstand low to medium light. However, they will grow slow, become leggy, and could lose variegation. Variegated varieties require bright and direct light to thrive and maintain variegation. Direct light can burn or discolor the leaves. Growing medium. Soil and water. Pothos grow well in regular potting mix. Added pumice or perlite improves the drainage and aeration of the soil. Pothos can grow well in water only. However, growth is slow due to lack of nutrients. Adding nutrients, refreshing water and cleaning algae is vital for healthy, thriving plants. Pothos grown in water will take long time to adjust in soil. Watering. Pothos should be watered when the top few inches of the soil are dry. Plants should be watered thoroughly until water comes out through the drainage holes. Rainwater is a great option for healthy pothos. If using tap water, it is good to let it sit for at least 24 hours to dissipate chlorine. In winter, watering should be reduced. Use of lukewarm water helps prevent root shock. Watering should be extra light and soil should not be soaking wet. Fertilizing Pothos are not heavy feeders. It is ideal to fertilize them once a month during growing season with a balanced fertilizer. Pothos should not be fertilized during cold season. Under-fertilizing is better than over-fertilizing. Over-fertilizing leads to yellowing and wilting, lower leaves. Humidity and temperature. Pothos prefer high humidity. They can tolerate low humidity as well. Kitchen and bathroom provide ideal environment for them to grow. Ideal temperature for pothos is between 55 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Pothos are hardy plants and can tolerate cold weather indoors. Pots. Pothos should be planted in pots with multiple drainage holes to avoid wet soil. Wet soil can cause root rot. They can be planted in ceramic, plastic, and terracotta pots. Ceramic pots are great for pothos. The soil in ceramic pots absorbs moisture better. Ceramic pots prevent soil from drying out fast. Terracotta pot is a great option to prevent root rot due to overwatering. It soaks up the extra moisture. It also allows air to flow through the roots. This provides optimum growth conditions and prevent diseases. Repot. Pothos do not require repotting frequently. They like being slightly root bound. Repotting is required when the roots are coming out of the drainage holes. If the leaves are drooping quickly even after watering, it is a sign that the plant needs repotting. Another sign is stunted growth. Repotting should be done during the warm growing season to avoid stressing the plants. New pot should be about two inches bigger than the current one. Toxicity. Pothos are toxic to humans and animals. If ingested, it can cause pain, burning sensation, and swelling of lips, mouth, tongue, and throat. Pruning and propagation. Pruning helps prevent vines from getting leggy. It stimulates new growth which make the plant bushy. Prune vines can be easily propagated. Pothos propagation is easy. Cut the stem just before and after a leaf. The leaf has bumpy nodes which produces roots. Put the leaf in the water, making sure the node is submerged in water. Refresh water when dirty. Pothos can also be propagated in sphagnum moss. It is important to keep it moist and not let it dry out for long. Also cuttings are less likely to rot as it hold the right amount of moisture and allow airflow. Plant the cuttings in soil when the roots are about 4 inches long. Pothos can be directly propagated in soil. It is important to keep the cuttings moist. Trailing and climbing. Trailing pothos give beautiful cascading look, especially when planted in hanging pots. Pothos can be trained to climb. Size of the leaves gets bigger when climbing. Pothos are easy to care in hardy plants. They remove toxins from the air and brighten up any space with their beautiful look. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.